Hi there, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Math with Mullins. Today we're going to be talking about our topic 1.4, multiplying integers. That's multiplying positive and negative numbers. Today we're going to be looking for seven things in our notes. Um, so just make sure that you're looking for these lime green dots and knowing when, and that'll tell you when to write some stuff down. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to write down are the two times that you're going to be multiplying integers. You have multiplying integers with the same sign, and then you have multiplying integers with different signs. Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, copy down what you see, and then click play whenever you're ready. Notice that when you multiply numbers with the same sign, it's going to be positive. When you multiply numbers with different signs, your answer will be negative. The other thing I want to help you um, explain to you is another way that's easiest to remember when you multiply integers. Um, so what you're essentially going to write is monkey man in your notes. What this looks like is you have a circle and it's going to be separated into thirds as even as you can. There will be eyes at the top and the mouth at the bottom. It kind of looks like a monkey if you add ears and hair or whatever. Um, but essentially, this is going to show you how to multiply two negative numbers or a positive and a negative. For instance, let's say you have negative 2 times negative 3. You just learned that when you have the same signs, your answer will be a positive 6. Here's how monkey man works. What I've just done is covered up a negative for negative 2 and a neg another negative for negative 3. Notice what's left is a positive. Since a negative times a negative is covered up, my answer will be positive. We can also use this same example over here. What would happen if we multiplied by ne negative 2 by positive 3? I just told you in the previous slide that it would equal a negative number, but let's see how this works on Monkey Man. Notice how I covered up a negative for negative 2 and a positive for positive 3, and I'm left over with a negative, which means my answer will be a negative 6. Pretty cool, huh? What you can do is whenever you write down Monkey Man in your notes, um, you don't have to, to color it off every single time. You can essentially cover up the negatives with your hands or the positives with your hands so you don't have to keep rewriting or keep erasing stuff. Go ahead and make sure that you take, you've taken the time now to pause the video. And if you need to rewind it, it's kind of a, an easier topic though. If you need to rewind it, that's fine. But go ahead and click play once you've had this slide written down. So the next few ones you're just going to watch me do and then you're going to get to try some on your own. Again, thinking about monkey man, when I multiply things by the same sign, my answer will be positive. Different signs will be negative. A 5 times 5, that's positive and a positive. You can't use monkey man for this just because you grew up knowing how to do that. Okay, You were multiplying positives whenever you learned your multiplication facts. This one is simple. That's going to be 25. Same thing with number 2. 4 times 11 is just 44. Don't, get, don't think too much about those. Number 3 is a little bit different, though, because we have negative 1 times negative 9. A negative times a negative is a positive, so I should get positive 9. The same thing here. Negative 7 times negative 8 is a positive 56. Here's the one where you're going to take the time now to pause it and try it on your own. Once you're done, click play to check your answers. All right, let's go ahead and check letter A. I have a positive times a negative. A positive times a negative. If you cover up one positive and one negative on Monkey Man, you're left with a negative. So my answer will be a negative 12. Same thing for letter B. A negative 7 times a positive 4 is a negative 28 because I cover up one negative and one positive. You're going to go ahead and try some of these as well. Notice for the last few, you have three things, so be careful on those. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, let's go ahead and start with letter A. We have 12 times negative 2. That's a positive times a negative, left with a negative, so my answer is negative 24. With letter B, my answer is also negative 24. With letter C, I just take two at a time, but notice I have a zero here, and with the multiplication property of zero, anything multiplied by zero will still give you zero. 
So that would be one way you could do it. If you did it this way, negative 10 times negative 6 is a positive 60. But when I multiply 60 times 0, I still get 0. The last one, just taking two at a time. Negative 7 times negative 5 is a positive 35. And then 35 times negative 4 is going to give you a negative 140. You might have had to do that one over here to this side if you didn't do that one in your brain. Okay? Negative because positive times a negative. Yes, I had all the same signs, but I only could take care of two at a time. Okay? So make sure that you're careful with the ones that have three in them. This is one that I want you to watch. After I'm done explaining, I want you to copy it down. So for letter A, it says negative, evaluate negative 2 to the second power. What that means is I'm going to see negative 2 times negative 2. So I'm going to see negative 2 twice. And then you just multiply it. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, keeping in mind our monkey man rules. Okay? Letter B is a little bit different. Because there is there are no parentheses, because there are no parentheses, I am going to just leave the negative and do 5 times 5. Okay? That doesn't, when there are parentheses, the negative goes with everything. When they're not, it just stays on the outside. You multiply like normal. I know 5 times 5 is 25, but I still have that negative, so I can technically say negative 5 times 5, and that's still going to be negative 25. So when you have no parentheses, it's always negative. Doesn't matter how many times you multiply those numbers, no parentheses is always negative. The last one I have negative 4 to the third power. Again, that, that means I need to see negative 4 three times. Remember, when you have three numbers, just take it two by two. Negative 4 times negative 4, positive 16. Positive 16 times this negative 4 will give me negative 64, I believe. So make sure that you take, you take the time now to pause the video and write everything that you see. When you're done, click play, and then we'll carry on with our last few. So evaluating these expressions, these are the ones that you're going to try on your own. Pause it, maybe check with your partner if you're working with a group, and then click play to see what your answer, if your answer is correct. Here we go. So letter A, I have negative 3 to the second power. That means negative 3 times negative 3. That's going to give me a positive 9. For letter B, I have negative 2 to the third power. That is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Three negative 2s, taking 2 at a time. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. A positive 4 times negative 2, though, is a negative 8. For letter C, remember, no parentheses. It's always going to be negative. So I'm going to just keep the negative out here and then write down 2 7. 7 times 7, essentially meaning negative 7 times 7, which is negative 49 always negative for those guys. Same thing for letter D. I don't have any parentheses, so the negative just hangs out, and I need to write 6 times 6 times 6. Negative 6 times 6 is a negative 36, and negative 36 times 6 is going to give you a negative 216. Go ahead and check them. How did you do? The last part of this just essentially is looking at how you can describe and write an equation um, using negative numbers. It says the bar graph shows the number of taxis a company has in service. The number of taxis decreased by the same amount each year is for four years. Find the total change in the number of taxis. So every year you're going, you're getting 50 fewer taxis. So that's negative 50 and you're doing it over a year of four years, so negative 50 times four. That's going to give you your total change, which is essentially going to be negative 200, meaning we're taking away taxis. Here's one that you can try. Pause the video, see if you can try it first, and then click play to check your work. All right, manatee population, it says it decreases by 15 manatees each year for three years. So I'm just multiplying negative 15 manatees by three, and that's going to give me negative 45 manatees in the manatee population. How'd you do?
So this is going to conclude our video. Make sure you have those seven things written down, and then just look on the board to see what you're supposed to be doing next. Thanks for tuning in.